Today's Captain's Blog is brought to you courtesy of Peter Simonson. It's Staples! In the machine. And well, let me show you that. What's happening in there? I make it really angry if I try and stick the camera in there. I love the sound this thing makes. Like there's like a whole backbeat happening. Hi. More paper for the Xerox guy. We're gonna run out. So, good morning campers. It is 11.15 hours on October 9th, 2015, and I've already given a full tour this morning to a development dude, I don't know. Um, he was nice. And today, this is before. This is what the room looks like when I begin, and you can see the shelves are just, it's very messy. There's, there's a lot of crap to sort out and figure out and just, I'll just step back and let you take it all in, okay? Look at that, that's, that's before, okay? My mission today is to make this not suck so much, so. And I haven't gotten a lot of blog over this because I put music on when I'm working. I, I, I like tunes, I, I, I half the time I'm singing. So I got my Pandora rocking and I can't blog when I'm Pandora because YouTube freaks out and I got like, a thousand people watching this who all want to catch me out and be like, oh, he's got music going on, we're gonna flag it. Eh. And that's if YouTube doesn't flag it automatically. That is so sexy. Just, that's, that's a neat idea. I wish I had S-hooks for that, but it's hard to find S-hooks that, that are properly scaled, so this'll do. And over the next few days, these will straighten out and hang all the way to the floor. So that's what they look like the morning after. And this is the giant mess that I'm going to clean up today. I got a minute. See, you could be here. You could come here and volunteer and just like take take this bucket. This is this is a one man one day job. Take one person, give them that bucket, one day, one roll of paper towels, one bottle of Windex, and everything in there comes out shiny and clean instead of totally covered in soot. So we'll get there. Digging it out bit by bit. And the lights work. I tell you about those. Have I, have I told you about my lights? My awesome lights that work. So I'm going to eat a sandwich and then I'm going to get in there. Batman will be back in about an hour, hour and a half with a pack of goodies, which will be cool. And you'll get to see that. And dog tags. Dog tags! We're still printing. We're still printing. We're printing waivers. We're printing waivers and you could come here <coughs> and fill out one of these and sign your life away. Here, read that. I'll, I'll just let you take a look at that. That spark gaps. That spark gaps. And that spark gaps. That should be everything. Yep. He hates us a little today. Would you like to go offer to help? Yes. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Yes. Mary Matt. Yes. We're going to help. Oh. Start carrying those boxes in, please. Yep. Tim! How you doing, Chris? Another fun-filled day, sir. Oh, yes. Sorry about all the boxes. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> that's part of my job, so... It's almost all for high voltage. 
bins. Yes. You are holding 80,000 volt spark gap switches. Whoa! And the bins to put them in. Is this in or out? In. Oh, okay. Epoxy. Oh, epoxy. Thank you, sir. That's the end and autograph. Cool. Thanks, Liz. Thanks. Have a nice day. See you, Chris. Have fun, Tim. Oh, this is cool. We got bins. All right. Time to get to work. All right. Time is 1,300 hours. I just finished my big meeting with Rebecca. That went very, very well. And now, I start with bins. This is, this is where it all begins. And I have a little divider. Pocket things. I don't know. Come here. Damn it. So I have these things which ostensibly fit in the bins. They have a little tab on one side. I have no idea how these go together, but I fit those. I fit those. So I got those. I got little balloons too. So I've got little well these these fit here, so that's cool. Okay, well, that's nuts and bolts in a big way. Alright. And I got storage divider tabs. So yeah. It's a U-Line party! I'm going to put on my tunes and start rocking out. We'll be back. 2017 hours. Sam's here. Hi. What do you got, Sam? We got power up. You got that sexy safety relay in, finally. Aw, oh, yeah. So, you want to make it do its thing? Sure. I got power on. PLC powers up. For some reason, it's faulted. And contact. And at that point, the main power would be on in the room. Well, we cut it. Cool. So there's a fault in our PLC? Yeah. You need to talk to Todd. Todd? Evidently, the PLC is not happy with not being hooked up to anything. Right. Todd has the programming cable and the software and a very firm knowledge of how to program these. That's nice. what he does for a living. So that's, that's sexy. It's still a little crufty, but it'll get uglier with there. It'll get better looking with the covers on and all that. And right. And I have a bunch of sh schmutz going around. Okay. Come here. <sighs> because the next thing is to build the pilot light. We'll let the Cliftons do that, but we got to give them bits to do it with. Look at that, Sam. Just damn. Oh, we gotta wire up the light tree too. Oh, I gotta kill the tunes or YouTube will freak out. Oh my god, copy wronged. Okay, come on, there you go. Right. Huh? I know. Come here. Um, I have a fine collection. Yes, yes, here, you take the camera. I'll, I'll go digging in the archives because they're going to need. For you gentlemen, I have a fine selection of Leviton. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. quite lovely to have. And these are the same as these, which are easy to make mounts for. So your mission is to put three on top, three on bottom. So, oh hey, we've got half a dozen of them sitting right there. Take those. <laughs> we won't even break out the new box. We'll use the ones that we have. And uh, I'll put these back in the shop. Well, they wipe off easily. It's a little bit of soot. They've had a rough life. Okay. But uh, I should share this with the world. Oh, let me see that. Please. So here's, we've got bins. These are the bins we've been using. And we have organized bins. This is going to be all Allen Bradley stuff. So you remember that box in the basement? With all the, in, in our box, all the Allen Bradley stuff? Yep. We're going to organize it into bins. So, and I've got some stuff that goes to other rooms, like I have a whole bunch of soapstone that we donate up here. So, I'm going to show you some of the toys that we've unearthed today. How do you like those? Mm. They're rated for a couple amps. Just a couple. Just a couple. Um, down here we have little eggs, big eggs, 
These are our AA and these are AAA. Uh, some little standoff insulators. And some barns. This, this whole thing needs to be gone through because there's still some stuff in there. Check out the fuses, Sam. We have a variety of fruit flavors in here. Um, these are 160s, 400s, and 500 amp fuses. Because you use a lot of those. And up there on top is an 800 and then a 550. And I kept this as, here, I'm going to let you hold the camera because some of these take two hands. I kept this as just for demos because it's 750 on these big ones. And it's just sexy. So it's a good thing to be able to hand out to kids and be like, you know, because this weighs five pounds. Sure. And you just be able to hand out to kids and be like, yeah, here, check this out. And then lots of meters. We have megawatts and kilovars. We've got some really esoteric, badass meters that I want to get hooked up doing cool things. Um, some antique meters and just smaller meters. And a couple, the last of a couple big ones. I think the biggest is I have a 30 megawatt meter. And then over here we have some fun stuff. Um, this is flexible ties. This is all fuse holders of various forms. Now this is neat. Logs, including these. I've got a million like aluminum logs in different sizes, but these are brass. I only have them in one size, and they're really sexy. So they get their own little bit. This is all one size of big aluminum lugs, except for one here, which is a double stem. Um, this is all lugs, smaller ones. This is all one type, one size of aluminum lug. I just had a bunch of them. Split nuts and various forms of copper grabby. Some relays. Uh, we've got a lot more solid state relays. I've just got a bin for relays. This is TDRs, high voltage relays, including these, which are really nifty. I call those kick drum. They're just little solenoid things. Um, neutral ties. This is cool. A giant container of brushes. Fantastic. There's like 50 pounds of them. I, I consolidated three boxes. And then I have these, which are just big graphite bars. Which might be uber brushes. Um, high power silicon. More high power silicon. Remember, remember seeing these bigger than hockey pucks. Ooh, I want them if you can get them. I've got down here because we have we have a lot of high power silicon. Just start, things are spread out from hell to breakfast. But we have these are the biggest I've got. And that's on a water cooled block. So that's a pretty sexy setup. I've got some more big silicon here. And, and lots of just getting organized. Things things in places. Um, some oddball stuff like we have this giant capacitor here, which is really beautiful. Um, and we've got more big silicon. Watch out, gentlemen, please. Move! Move! We've got more big silicon back here, so we go up to IPDTs that are just freakishly big. Um, so, this stuff just hanging out. And, and the wire bins, which are divine. So, that was yesterday's. Oh, did you see the giant cable? The 750? I think I may have, yes. It's red on the end hanging over there. Oh, they've seen all those yesterday. Well, they're seeing oh, it again. Oh, I have a puzzle for the blog. Sam, can you, sir, identify this? Take take a look at it. This is this is for the blog viewers. Here's Bolt your Depot question of the day: gauges. Bolt Depot thread gauges. If you can identify this device. What is it? What is it good for? It's kind of cool looking. And it was made in Norway.
figure that out. Looks like an apartment sky rise in Florida. Huh? A woman in Florida glued her eyes shut. How the hell do you do that? Thought they were eye drops. Oh God! An extreme amount of stupid. Oh, or, that's or gonna it. suck for a few days. She'll be all right, but it's gonna take a few days. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta. There's been lots of cleaning of individual. Like the next big thing to bin is gonna be these. All of the little red standoff insulators. Tyler was on this for hours. <laughs> Most of them were just covered in soot. And they're all going to get sorted, like they're, they're compartmented now, and then they'll go into bins and get organized. Oh, here's some, uh, here's a few porcelain ones. We got a bunch of little porcelain ones, and I've just been getting them all organized, and we'll put this into use. So you've got the safety system coming together. That's going to be cool. You can add that on a day. Yeah, yeah, so it's like it. Cool, you do that and I'm off to class. Sweet. All right. You guys have fun. That's today's captain's blog. I will see you tomorrow. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Today's captain's blog is brought to you courtesy of Peter Simonson.